So I was asked if I would um, show how to create uh, a material that is brass with uh, some noise in it and some sections that uh, don't have that noise that are just sort of the, the, the pure brass but maybe with some uh, roughness variation. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I've got this little piece of pipe and uh, I'm going to use this brass pure which is in my materials now this is version uh, 2020 and uh, I'm assuming that it's available in the other versions uh, there's a chance that uh, I may have downloaded that I don't remember from substance share but at any rate I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag that in now keep in mind that this is going to be very dependent on the color so in this case I've got the panorama HDR if I switch them, you know, it, it really uh, affects the color. And, and when you bring it into, say, Blender or whatever, or a game engine, uh, what I might do is I might um, just darken this up a little bit. Yeah, that's it. I, I really didn't do very much. Okay, so, I mean, that's pretty good to, to start with. You can, if you prefer, you know, enter values in here. Uh, but I'm going to stick with that because that's what Substance Painter says is, is pure brass. Now the next thing I'm going to do I think is add some dirt to this. So I'm going to create a fill layer. And up here I'm going to alt click on color. That will select just the color. And then I'm going to click on roughness. So I have just those two. And because it's dirt I'm going to drag this up quite high. Click on the color. Bring this up just a little bit. And get sort of a dark brown color. And I don't want too much dirt. I'm going to add a black mask, and then I'm just going to use the dirt generator. And then here it is. And, you know, right off the bat, that, that's going to be too much. But I'm just going to bring that down. And now I've got some dirt on the inside and, and in the crevices. And uh, and you can see this kind of discoloration. So already we're getting some, some of that. Okay, so that's dirt. The next thing I'm going to do is see if I can get some lightness around some of the edges using metal edgeware wear or curvature. I'm not sure which will work. So add a fill layer again. I'm going to alt click color. I'm going to leave it at that, that white. You can make it yellow if you prefer. And let's just give this a try. Let's add a black mask, a generator, and we'll try metal edges and see. So you can see that there is some there okay and it happens to hit these quite a bit so you can you know reduce it a little bit if you want and uh, we get a little bit of that there you can play with the grunge scale and you break it up if you want to I'm pretty good with with uh, with what it is it's pretty subtle but you can see something there it looks very nice almost almost stylized Okay, so that is, we'll just call this edges. And let's try something else. Let's see about, instead of it being shiny all the way through, and by the way, you can see a little bit of a seam there. Um, you know, if I turn it around the other side, you wouldn't have that there. I just happen to have the seam there, so just ignore that. Generally, you'd want to put the seam somewhere where it's not going to be visible. It's not overly visible, uh, anyhow, but just a little bit, depending on where the light is. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and now add a roughness variation to this. So uh, I'm going to create a, a new fill. I'm going to alt click on roughness. And let's see, maybe I'll have it nice and shiny like that. That might be too much, we'll see. And this is going to be roughness var for variation. I'll add a black mask. And then I'm going to add a fill. And in the properties of the fill grayscale, you can choose um, some kind of a texture um, to put in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna try clouds, and maybe this one that might be too extreme. Maybe this. One. So let's see if we just play with the balance. If you could get the sense that uh, some of it. Let's just do this. Some of it's shinier and some of it's a little duller. 
Now you can also do color variation and uh, that, that's a great idea really but I'm not going to bother with, uh, with that I think in this video. Let's get to doing the noise okay so we've got our four layers so far so for the next layer I'm going to add a fill but I'm going to use only height and I'll bring the height up a little bit maybe more than I need so I can see it I'm going to add a black mask and a fill and in the grayscale this time I'll reset this and I'm going to search for Gaussian noise and I think I'll use this last one here this Gaussian spots too actually I'll do that so now you can see what we've got going on there I'm going to adjust the balance etc but I'm going to switch this to triplanar and we can look at the scale of the noise I'm going to make it smaller okay maybe I'll bring it all the way I think it may be disorder and then you can come back and you can adjust you know maybe you don't want it too overpowering so that's there and you can also of course come back to the height and decide maybe that's too much height so it's just it's just there but I think for the sake of the video so you can see it I uh, will just up this so we can see what's what's happening in the next in the next part and I'm gonna call that noise now we don't want that noise everywhere let's say we don't want it on this part right in here this section right there so I think the way I'll do this is I'm going to create a folder drag the noise into the folder and I'm going to put a mask on the folder but let's try using a white mask well very often use a black mask if I use a white mask nothing is really happening so everything is is showing through all right but with that mask active if I just say take my brush here whatever I've got in my brush and I'm at 100 percent and if I do this you can see it's disappearing right so we need a better way to do this let's turn on polygon fill let's come over here to this one here this polygon fill choice here which is the second one and I'm going to drag around here and you can see that that didn't really do anything so what I'm going to do is I can if I press X just look up here it goes to black now I drag over here let's go back to the brush and it's gone from that area I'll do a little bit more again so on the white mask in fact you can see this sort of black area where we've removed the noise from I'll go back to polygon fill if I have it as white we keep the noise if I press X or drag this down to black and I drag over this we get rid of the noise like that but I'll leave it like that all right now you can do other things you can put other imperfections in there with clouds or some other types of noise um, if you want different colors in there a color variation that's always a great idea but at least we've got the basic brass color we've got some dirt in there we've got some metal edge wear in there or at least highlighting the metal edges and we have some noise and we have some clear area where we don't have the noise Just like that okay now if you decide to save this as a smart material so you grabbed all of this and you went control G and you've got it in a folder if you call this brass if you go to apply it to a, mo a different model keep in mind you've got this mask here that will um, you may have to clear that mask so for example uh, I will go ahead and I'll create a smart material okay so now it's not in the materials it's in the smart materials I'm going to get rid of that if I take that and drag it onto my model or over here 
that will put that on. But if you have a different model, this may not be the section that you want to have. So what you would do is just clear this mask, all right? And now it's reset and you say, okay, uh, for this particular model, there's a good idea to be an orthographic for this. For this particular model, I'm gonna to come to my polygon fill. I'll use this one. I want, say, this, this thing here, in which case you could possibly just select it as long as you are on black to get rid of that white mask part. You know, maybe you want that part to be shiny. Once again, you'd want probably want to clear the mask and then redo that part based on the particular model you have. All right, so that's really it for uh, this particular video. I uh, hope that's useful to somebody. Thanks for watching.